Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part two of Let's Play Wario World, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, time to enter stage two of Excitement Central, which is Greenhorn Ruins. Of course, we have the same test as before, because you're going to have to do them in every level. The only difference is the levels themselves, as well as the boss you got to fight. Okay, so I just saw a switch right there on top. So don't push this, punch this uh, crate. Now you can punch it. So you get the treasure. I hear a sprightling annoying as hell. I gotta learn to deal. Oh, I see something. The switch is over there, and so is the treasure. But not that far apart. That's very convenient. So I'll just punch some random magons for no reason. Because I can. If you're surrounded by monsters, pull out a mad move and knock them out with one blow. When you're holding a monster up in the air, rotate the control stick to do a wild swing ding. If you jump and hold the R button while holding a foe, you'll do a pile driver. But those were moves I were already showcasing in part one. If you didn't know about them at that time, this is where you would learn about them. But give me all that money. Give me all that money. Oh, this one. Two Spritelings close together. The Wild Swing Ding is a spinning move. Really? I never knew that. And the Pile Driver is a ground pound move. Master the finer points of these two man moves to turn gears, break down iron doors, and deal with tricky traps. Use your head, Wario. Screw that, I'm gonna use my fists and my elbows and pretty much everything else. Yeah. Don't you slap me around? Clockwise, and there we go. I get out of my sight. I just activated that switch, and as you can see, these are called genies. Those pods will keep dispensing enemies. You can kill them, but it takes a very, very long time, and it's not worth it. They're good for respawning enemies in case you want something to grab, or better yet, extra money. Because who dare down some, turns down money these days? Could've used that head, too. Yeah, their other ore works. Alright, time to get ourselves another diamond. I figured I'd do that just to get the coins. If you're not confident in your jumping, you could've just walked around a long way. Ah, Wario piece. Or statue piece, I guess I'll call it that. Be extra careful, there we go. The good thing about the bonus games or the sub areas is that even if you fall, you don't have to worry about Unithorn. And you'll start back where you left off and don't lose any money. Using the glue globes on the walls up ahead, you can jump and stick to the walls. When you see these sticky orbs, try some of your moves. When jumping to a glue globe, check your footing, mark your goal, and then jump. It takes practice, so don't get frustrated, okay? I'll try my best not to get too frustrated. I don't want all those horses to die in vain. Remember, their lives made this. So I better show some appreciation and respect. The only way Wario can. By showing no respect whatsoever! That's how he does it. The timing, there we go. Okay, you still can get hurt in these bonus stages. You don't have to worry about cliffs, it's still spikes that are an issue. I refuse to go for those coins because my health is not worth the risk. I know, it's kind of wussy, but who the hell cares? Okay, I see like the green pestle. I wish I could adjust my camera angle a little better, but oh well. Okay, got that. I see green, and I see blue. Now I gotta look for their switches. Okay, I can't go over that way yet. But I will soon enough. Okay, that looks a bit awkward. Gotta take on this little statuette foe. Just throw it right at that diamond core. 
You'll see these in different levels, and she may have a different attack. At least I think that's a she. It looks like a very feminine male statue, if otherwise. Then again, how can you really tell a statue's gender? They don't reproduce or anything. Maybe I'm just getting too specific or logical when it comes to this kind of crap. Yeah, you die now. now. Give me your money. Always give me your money, yeah! Okay, that was the green switch. Okay, I see something over here. I could have thrown an enemy, but you can also punch this. There, and I just created a passageway. Let me look for the blue switch first, and then I'll come back. Okay, now I see the sky blue plan. Hey, hey! Thank you. That's it. They're not a sprightling, but how many of those statue pieces did I get, too? Okay. I still have a long ways to go, though. I don't even think this is the halfway point. If it is, it's pretty close. I don't want any garlic, I'm already full. Eh, I'm better off going this way. I need an enemy. You'll have to do. Care to be a martyr? Ah, uh, yeah. Now there's the blue switch. That. Perfect. Now I can go back there too. Grab the blue chest. Then I gotta go up for the green one. Simple as that, right? Yeah. Okay, it looks like I'm getting teapots or cups. Or Phases. That's all I seem to be getting in this type of level. At least the treasures here in each level have a certain theme. They kind of fit together, which is nice. Oh, I need to grab like, a big magma. Give me a big one! I'll keep punching out the small ones. But I'm recording a video, I don't want this to be too long. Come on, give me a big one! Thank you! I'll take you, giant derp! She's not spinning first. There. Haha, <laughs> it took like a club, too. Okay, there's a sky piece switch. I gotta head back to that chest. Okay, come on, grab that. It needs to be at a better angle. It's better. I usually show off the names of the treasures after I get them all, rather than right away as I get them. Otherwise, I'll have to keep pausing so often. And it would just be annoying. Okay, so I'm going for my third diamond now. I thought I would have at least four or five at this point. But I guess I was wrong. I gotta think of where I'm gonna have to jump from. Ow, oh, damn it! That did not go according to plan. I did not want to be knocked off. It's not nice. Damn angles! I need to back away a little bit better. So specific. That's better. Oh, this is garlic over here. So I wouldn't hurt to grab it. I mean, I did take some damage. Because I was a dumbass. Okay, this is Jenga gone wrong. I mean, look at this little area. How does it float? Can you imagine playing Jenga and the pieces were floating? How could you win? Or how could you lose? Yeah, it's just mucked up. Right, time to go for another diamond. Oh my god, that was so difficult. I found that other one much easier. I never want to attempt this again because it just mucked my brain. 
I really need to go back to school all because of this. There's a battle ring up ahead. One minute battles begin when you enter battle rings. Fight everything that enters the ring. The number of coins you get depends on the number of monsters you defeat. So fight hard. Well, if Wario needed any motivation, it would have to be money. Okay, I'm getting used to this new controller that I bought weeks ago, but never even used. It has a longer reach, and it's better ergonomically. The B button is slightly larger, which I can get used to. So I'm really liking it. I just hope it doesn't make too much noise compared to a regular GameCube controller. Because if I had to use my regular GameCube controller, I would have to get on a chair, therefore sit at an angle rather than be at the couch. So I find this a lot better for me. That way I have more reach. I forget the name of it exactly, I'll be sure to put it in the description. So if you want to get that type of controller, you can do so as well. You can get them at like EV Games or GameStop, because that's where I got mine. Oh, I got to kill you first. I got as many as I could at the last second, because it's money. So you'll probably see battle rings and some other levels too. I see the purple pestle and I see the last sprightling. Well, I don't see it, but I hear it. Then again, you can hear those from a mile away. They tend to get very annoying if all you hear is woo woo. Woo! Woo! I'm trying to look for you. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> okay, at least I can't hear the sprightling here. Because, dear God, if I'm doing this kind of sub area and I hear. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot myself. Then again, it's difficult to get handguns in Canada, so I can't really do that. Compared to the United States. I guess that's a good thing to some extent. Well, is it a great thing? Well, yes and no. It all depends on where you live. And who you know. Thankfully, I don't live around gangbangers, so I should be okay. Alright! We're on a good stretch. You know what? Let's do this a little differently. There. You only need like to throw one enemy to knock that guy down. God, I better get rid of that Sprightling! It's annoying me! Later levels, when they're well hidden, they're even more annoying. Oh, I see the base switch. Now I'm gonna need another Magon. Thank you. Prepare to be famous! I really like the uh, sky sub areas. I'm not gonna lie, they are very neat. There are usually split spots where you can find tons of coins. And there's lots of room for error compared to like the ground ones. They're not that exciting, they're just simple puzzles. Uh, is this a good idea? Careful. Uh oh. Damn it! Well, I can take solace in the fact that the coins respawn. Even the big ones. And you don't lose any coins yourself, like I said a few minutes earlier. So you can take advantage of that. If you're feeling like the 1% and want all the money in the world. At the expense of everyone and everything else. Then again, Wario is saving sprite beings, so he's not really that evil. I need to adjust the camera angle to be easier to see. It's just so risky when you have to take some of these jumps! Oh my god, that was close. That's it. Oh, I almost didn't make it. I was taking a risk there, and it paid off. The boss. Then again, if I was a boss, I would not have made one mistake. But, hey, we're all human, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, but he's perfect. God damn it. That's not fault. I will say that the camera angles in some of these levels could be refined a little bit better. But they could be a lot worse. I mean, it's still manageable. It's just too bad you cannot rotate the camera unless you're in the sub area. Because you have more than freedom. Okay, I don't really consider this exciting at all, because all you do is lifting heads and then throwing them. Listen in for the statuette piece. Yeah, see the diamond. Here? Ah, yes it is. You practically have to listen for them, and if you can't do that, then you're obviously gonna be taking all the heads, throwing them. It's just a process of elimination, and it gets very tedious. Yeah, I'll take that. One last chest I need to find. Where is it? Oh, that's the last bright thing, too. Many more of my friends are being held against their will up ahead. If you see any of them, I'd really appreciate it if you'd save them. You'll be rewarded for coming to their aid, of course, Wario. We know how you like rewards. So, um, okay. Off you go, Wario. I see you to assume that I'll do it, but whoa! It seems like in every second level of a certain world, you'll actually get a console. Porcelain urn, fine china, ceramic vase, teapot, the vase, precious pot, lucky figurine, and an actual NES. Isn't that a nice easter egg or what? Okay, even if I dispense diamonds now, it wouldn't matter. I need to get that last diamond. Well, I don't need to. But I like to do it for the sake of completion, and I think there's a gold figurine piece there. Doing the wave, yeah! California surfing, Mario style! Perfect. Is that all of them? Eh, looks like it. Huh. Wario's pose. I am not a crook! I am a treasure hunter. There's a difference. You know, I don't need to do this, but I will anyway. Okay, second boss is... Is that an ant line from Final Fantasy? Also seems like a Zelda boss, too. Yuji pops out of the sand and starts spitting out... Spike balls, and I should stay away from that. Because that hurts. Okay, whenever I take a skull, I'm gonna back away. Whoa. I'm gonna keep jumping so I don't go all the way into there. Because I'm sure there's nothing good when you go down there. Get away! Get away! One more. Now do your stupid trick again. I'll wait over here where it's safe. Like a rebel. Yes, rebels like to hide for cover. We're smart rebels! You are dead! Explode into coins for Mario. Yeah, level complete. Give me some of them extra coins, yeah. Alright, so we got that level done too. Because we assembled another gold statue, that should give us the other half of hearts. Now we have a total of five hearts for max HP. Starting from four. Okay, so that door that just opened leads over to the boss, Dino Mighty. 
This one has a lot more health and a little bit more difficult than the other two bosses. So I'm going to stop the video right here. Next part, we're going to go to Dino Mighty Showdown. Goodbye, everyone.